In this video, we'll look at how we can import different slides from different places and how ProResenta treats that formatting. And I'll show you how I like to do it for my church services. Let's get started. All right, so if I'm running a church service on Sunday, if I go into here, generally speaking, what I am importing and changing is the message sermon slides. So if I go up here into my library, I go to my message slides, and I have my sample slides there that we've been working with in all our videos and examples. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to try and bring in the sermon slides. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this across and show you, and I have a Word document here with some sermon slides on it. And the first way we could do this is just to copy and paste. So I'm going to start where it says slide one. And so generally our pastors will format their slides like this, thanks to a little bit of encouragement from us to make our lives easier. So you'll notice it's got slide one in square brackets at the top of the paragraph and everything they want on their slide is on that paragraph. Now, if I go down here a little bit, you'll notice occasionally they don't want this Jesus did on their slide, but we can fix it up pretty easily. But we try to get them to do their slides in paragraphs, and then the rest of that is all the notes they use for their sermon. So once we've copied and pasted it, we're going to go File, Import, and we're going to go Text from Clipboard because we're copying the text. So it's sitting on our clipboard, and we want to import it into ProPresenter. We're then going to decide to delimit everything by paragraph breaks. That's why in our document here, we get them to do slides in paragraphs. So I can just choose paragraph break. It's going to go into the messages library and I'm not going to put in a playlist right now. We're just going to make sure it works first and we hit import. So it takes us straight there. Now it's titled this slide one because the first thing on the clipboard was slide one. So I might just call it message slides the 10th of the second or something like that and I can't have a slash in there. So let's go again. Message slides 10th of the second. Okay, now we just need to go through and double check these and edit them and reflow them. So I usually just go straight to the reflow button because it gives me a nice, easy way to do this. And what you'll notice from our document here, the title we gave each slide was slide one in square brackets. That's gone straight down here to the name. So the easiest thing to do is I'm just going to go straight through and delete every slide without a title on it. Now, we do need to be careful here. This slide does say slide in square brackets, so I'm just going to double check my notes. Aha, and we've missed a number. That is why. So that should be slide three. That's okay. So all we're going to do then is we're going to delete that slide. Sorry, we're going to delete the slide writing, and now my slide stays this one can go because we don't need that and then these two are the ones that have photos on them which we'll bring in later these ones are all going to go and you'll notice that even though all of our formatting is correct on slide four here it still hasn't quite brought it in properly but that's okay because we just delete that press delete so that it brings it up a line and then that slide is good to go now i just come through Delete these slides. Slide six is there. Slide seven is there. So I know I need to get rid of all of them because that's just the pastor's notes as they talk. There's slide six, slide seven, and slide eight. So I'm going to delete that one as well. And then I would come through and just double check against the notes and make sure everything's correct. So that's one way we can do it. And if I'm not happy as well, what I can do here is I can quickly reflow. So if I had that slide up, I'm like, oh, that's a lot of text. I could just come in here and go insert slide break, put them on two different slides, and we're good to go. So you can see that's like a two-minute job if that. The other way we can do it, so let's just delete this, and we'll bring in the same thing. So same slide. So file, import from file going to find the Word document, and when I click it, it's going to bring the same screen up. We're going to import it with paragraph breaks as my delimiter. So if you wanted two paragraphs on every slide, you just change this to two. So this is just saying every paragraph, so for one paragraph, I'm going to put one paragraph on a slide, start a new slide. Next paragraph goes on the second one. If I wanted two paragraphs on every slide, 
that would put two on every slide. It's going to messages and I'm not putting it in a playlist. Import. We're going to go back to show here. We're going to choose those slides. And you'll see it's done a similar thing, except it's added the first things as well. And there's my slide one. So again, I just go reflow. We're going to go that one, that one, and that one. So to select things, what I'm doing is I'm clicking, but I'm holding down the control key on my keyboard while I keep clicking. Right click, delete. There's slide one. There's slide two, delete. Slide three is there, but it's got its title in it. So we're going to get rid of that. There's slide three. Delete, photo one, photo two. We'd come back in and bring our photos in. That one can go. That's slide three. Delete. Slide four, it has slide written on it. We delete that. That one, that one, that one. That one can go. Slide five, six. seven and there is eight there delete all of them three four five six seven eight i go back and double check if i'm not happy with any of these things i can just reflow this nicely there we go i might want to also reflow that one there while we're here and it just depends what you're into so if i go back here and you'll see here on my congregation screen it's all fitting fairly well whether I reflow them or not, but it looks pretty good. If I went to my live stream, we just want to make sure they all fit fairly well, but see how this one's slightly smaller. It's matching slide is also slightly smaller because it is on automatically scaled down to fit the text. So if I had a really long example, and I'll show you, if I go back to this verse and I get rid of my slide break and I go back, I click here and just keeps shrinking that text down so it fits. So that one there, I'd want to reflow and I'm going to put in a break right there. Done. Click back here and it looks a lot nicer. So that is how we can import and set up our slides nice and quickly.